Okay guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is Samsung Sandbar. Before I start, I want to say a massive thank you to those of you guys who subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you. It means so much. It helps this channel. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do me a massive favor. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. I want to show you what we got here. We got this Sandbar. This is Samsung Sandbar. S. 50B sandbar. This sandbar got center speakers. What we want to do is we want to unbox this sandbar. This sandbar is with DTLs surround system. This sandbar. What we want to do is check it out. But before we do that, just want to tell you a bit of information about this sandbar. This sandbar is a lifestyle series sandbar from Samsung. It's AI optimized. The sound beautiful as it looks. Can connect this with your phone, TV, simply and wirelessly via Bluetooth and multi connection. Can connect it to your TV via optical cable and HDMI. What would Samsung give symphony? Which one with compatible Samsung TV and loud TV and soundbar to work in harmony for truly immersive surround sound experience? This soundbar is compatible with Samsung subwoofer and wireless rear speaker kit as well. This soundbar, the total, total power is 140 watts. 3D sound technology project sound over and around you, making for more immersive experience. Dolby sound technology, three channel with within this system, built in active amplifier. Okay, so now let's check this stuff out. Nice packaging. This is what it looks like. Nice. Wow, this is it's, it's quite heavy. Look at that. I see what it looks like. Beautiful. Very nice. And sleek very compact see what it looks like and this got center speakers three channels and inside here is the packaging remote control power cables And the wall mount triple air battery is information pack so this is this is wall mount to mount it This is nice sandbag. So this is the remote control. So we're going to set this up. So the batteries goes the negative goes to the negative end of it. Okay.
so the way this power cable okay goes into this one for you to be able to set this up so push it inside This one goes into the sandbar. Okay, now this sandbar from the back here, you see the optical cable goes into digital audio, okay, and the HDMI arc goes in here. Now this is DC in the power cable it goes the power cable goes in here and also you got USB okay USB port for here as well okay so push it inside this thing Socket. If you haven't got the remote control, you can also stay control this sandbar from the top here. You can switch it on and off. This button here is for you to reduce the volume. This button here is for you to increase the volume. The one that got plus. Now this one is the input for you to select from Bluetooth. So optical cable or HDMI app. This sandbar is nice and decent. Just gonna measure this from this end to here is 68 centimeter, 68 centimeter, and the width is 11 centimeter. Or 10.5 centimeter. 10.5 centimeter. Okay. So this is the overview of this sandbar. It's not heavy. It's nice. This one also got like a plastic cover in front of it. Let's see what it looks. Like. It's decent nice see what it looks like so this is the unboxing and overview and to set this up okay we just need to switch it on and you can see the light is on okay so when you switch it on then what you need to do is you need to use your mobile device to search for available bluetooth but this hand bar now is on bluetooth you can see bluetooth so by selecting the input, then you select Bluetooth. Okay. Now it's looking for available Bluetooth. And this is the... Ready to connect via Bluetooth. So you, once you select the input to Bluetooth, then you select pair. Set Bluetooth pair. It will tell you it's ready to connect via Bluetooth. Okay. So now, all I want to do is just to test the audio okay i'm going to connect this using my mobile device so go to epidemic sound connect so go to your bluetooth first of all on your mobile phone and go to connection and devices okay go to connection and devices and select bluetooth switch the bluetooth on so co connection switch the bluetooth on Once you switch the Bluetooth on, you wait and select the Bluetooth and then scroll down and look for this device. This device is Samsung Sandbar. Okay. Samsung Sandbar. Here we go. Samsung Sandbar S5B series. Select on it. It's pairing. Bluetooth pairing request, select pair. And 
is is connected okay so this sound banner is connected we need to test the audio using epidemic sound so we'll go to epidemic sound so go to epidemic sound okay select this epidemic sound This is the audio. Beautiful. DTS Virtual X. So this is DTS. Please, I was doing these cheese, diamonds on my feet, caught up in these thoughts, circling my head top. Should have been more cautious. Now I got what I wanted. I need a little bit for me. I don't love it more. Like when I found a codex, so I can't stop. I want it all.
so this is the audio for this sound bar thank you very much hey guys want to show you what we got here we got this sound bar this is samsung s 50 b sound bar this lifestyle sound bar is from samsung is ai optimized and the sound sounds as beautiful as it looks you can connect this sound bar to your tv and phone simply and wirelessly via bluetooth and multi connection and enjoy instant 3d sound surround sound visual dts or music streaming you can also select standard mode this is the remote control this sound bar comes with the remote control and triple air battery with the power cable and information pack this soundbar you can connect it to your tv via bluetooth optical cable and hdmi hack none of the cables are included so if you want to connect this sound by using optical cable or hdmi cable you need to buy it separate and i have the cables here i'm going to show you what they look like so this is the optical cable okay this is the optical cable so you need to get this one separate you can also connect it using hdmi arc okay but you need to buy this cable separate what i want to show you is how to connect this soundbar to your, your laptop this soundbar is 229 pan here in uk and its total power 140 watts and the power consumption is 25 watts okay power consumption auto power off wall mountable is also included okay so this soundbar is with dolby sound technology three channels within the system built-in amp amplifier so we're going to check the measurement for this soundbar so from this end to this end is 67 centimeter 67 centimeter and from here is 10 centimeter or 10.5 centimeter width okay now to connect this sand bar to your laptop what we want to do is we need to first of all go to the laptop settings okay so go to your laptop settings and from laptop setting you need to go to bluetooth and devices select bluetooth and devices okay now the next thing you need to do you need to switch the bluetooth on okay when you switch the bluetooth on your device then you select add device on top add a device when you select add a device then you select bluetooth and they will start to look for available bluetooth but at the same time you also need to make sure the soundbar is on and the bluetooth ready to connect via bluetooth and it's telling you ready to connect via bluetooth okay now the next thing to do is you can see we got samsung soundbar s 5b series so select on it your device is ready to go so it's now it's connected and select done so now this soundbar is connected okay so we want to test the audio using epidemic sound so we we'll go to epidemic sound epidemic sound is music for content creators okay so i'm going to put up a link how you can get epidemic sound if if you want okay so now this is the mu music select this is the beautiful This is game mode. Adaptive sound. Adaptive sound. D 
DTS Virtual X. This is standard. Music. Music. Thank you very much indeed. This is nice and beautiful sound, but 
deserves your attention thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well this is samsung sandbar s 50b sandbar this sandbar is three channel sandbar with center speaker this sandbar deserves your attention 140 watts total power output and power consumption is 25 watts this sandbar is very beautiful you can connect this sandbar to your tv via bluetooth optical and hdmi app but the cables are not included the hdmi and optical cable are not included in the packaging so you need to buy this separate okay this sandbar this is the remote control with remote control you can change it from various mode from music to standard to ai this is a dts surround this sandbar is with dolby audio surround system and samsung sync unit can work compatible with samsung tvs and synchronized music okay now what we want to do is to show you how to connect this sandbar to tv using optical cable but i'm just gonna this is the for you to listen to the audio this is the audio this sandbar this sandbar is connected to the laptop so this sandbar is connected to my laptop via bluetooth okay so this is the audio So this is the audio okay this sandbar is connected to my laptop via bluetooth okay so what i want to, us to do is to connect this sandbar to tv okay is what i want to show you how to do it to connect this sandbar to your tv using optical cable is what you want to do okay and to do this first of all what you need to do is so to connect this this sandbar, you need to first of all use the optical cable. Okay, go at the back. The optical cable, you see, digital audio in optical. Okay, so use your cable, push it inside, and you can see it's in. Okay. Now the next thing to do is take the other cable, the other end of the cable. Now go to to your back of your TV where it's written digital audio okay digital optical digital audio out so go and push it inside here okay so it goes in here so where the cable goes is the cable goes here okay i can see where it's ready so push it inside okay and it's in now that thing I need to also put the ante antenna cable to get TV reception while you are doing this also make sure the TV and the sandbar is switched off while you are doing this mm -hmm. okay. so plug in plug in the sandbar and the TV to the socket okay the next thing to do is we need to switch the TV and sandbar on and wait. Okay, you can see the TV is on, okay? Now, this is the TV audio. So the next thing to do is you need to can see that sandbar is highlighting blue, which means it's in Bluetooth mode, okay? So we need to use the input to select okay you can see now showing us white here so we need to go to the tv settings scroll down to the sound scroll down to sound when you look at the sound currently in 
it is in TV speaker. So we need to select the sound. Now the next thing to do is we need to look for optical. So use the side button. Okay, to, to go to optical, cancel optical digital optical optical out device. Select okay. So select the input. Digital audio in. Digital audio in. So this is the audio. Well, uh, I think the government's uh, position on this is, uh, keep in mind on that. This is the audio. The government's position on this is that the legislation was becoming a bit unwieldy, that there were several different things in there, and when you try and pass it through Parliament, that has lots and lots of different things on it. It's and with this, you government can government select... ...trying to put in amendments and, and change the scope of the laws in a way that... We can game. This is game mode. ...to uh, put those measures through, for example, on live exports. Uh, as individual measures and, 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 you know, and pu puppy you know, smuggling and, and dog theft and, and pu adaptive sound adaptive sound okay as i said before a lot of people actually looked at the manifesto who were you care deeply about animals and thought oh this is this is from mm. a conservative gut dts virtual x ostensibly it's all be, all being ditched and nick nick you're uh you're a dog lover yeah, you've got a Standard. This is standard. I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, I am, I am a, a, a dog lover. And I'm okay, guys. Thank you very much. This is how to hook this up. Okay. Once you connected the cable, you select from the input. You change it from Bluetooth by selecting the input. You change to HDMI to optical. Thank you very much indeed. And stay blessed.